All right, lads, top 10 strikers of all time in the Premier League. Now, I did learn a little bit after we did the top 10 clubs of all time. So I think the easiest way to do this, we agree on a rough five for the top five, but, yes. we're, but we don't say the order yet. Mm-hmm. We leave that to later. We just agree the five, we'll come back to that later. Then we agree the bottom five, and then when we come back to the top five, then we order them and we pick the winner at the end. I like what right? you're doing here. Now, just as a, a rough guess of some of the top five, we're going to say Shearer on Rio, no brainers. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wayne Rooney. Okay, Wayne Rooney. Mm-hmm. Sergio Aguero. Has to mm-hmm. be there. So there's the four. Kane. And Harry Kane. Yeah. Andy Cole. Yeah. Andy Cole, I wouldn't say so because it goes per game. He doesn't stack up to the other them five, in my opinion. Drogba. Oh. Just saying it. Drogba. He has just to be in just, there. just sprinkled it in. I think Andy Cole and Drogba are top ten. Personally, the five are very obvious. Wait, can't do the Shira Aguero. Thierry Henry. Yeah, this year first as well when you do this. Because he's on. number one. <laughs> it's literally top Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> top goal scorer in the top five. Fuck. I hear it. I hear okay. it. Shira Henry, Aguero, yeah. Rooney, Kane, which is basically, it, it kind of writes itself. Can I remove Kane and make Drogba go in there? Mate, Kane is second right now. Can I top. remove Kane and put Drogba no, in there? No. I second. love that, KG. Kane but is second. There, Kane fair is argument. There, there must be fair argument for what we're about okay, to let say. Okay, me, let me be clear. I've, I've, I've done a little bit of research. Drogba has 100 Premier League goals. Harry Kane has 213. Drogba, I just don't think no. that's... So when we talk about... When we, and Drogba, in, again, not the Premier... Because we're talking... Are we not going to count FA Cup as well? No, it's Premier League only. Just Premier League yeah. only. All right, let's uh, let, go ahead. Right. Go ahead. I think the top. Five, uh, you got a problem with the top five, Jacob? And is that all right? I got a problem. Yeah. R- and until we start ordering who, who's okay. the top okay. <laughs> so the five, the five really look like the five to me. Anyway, we're going to talk about if we get to a point where we realise six should really be fifth, we can talk about that later. The rest of them. Mm-hmm. That's where it really gets juicy for me and, and, yes. more, and more interesting because I think we're going to have a few arguments. Some of the players I've suggested. Mm-hmm. Rude Van Nistelrooy. For me, he wasn't in there long, mm. as long as some of the others. Mm-hmm. But my God, was he potent with um, 95 goals in 150 Premier League games. And I made a note that he hit 20 plus goals in four seasons in the Premier League, which, I mean, for me, he was just one of the most accurate strikers of the yep. ball I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Did he hit Drogba? 100 and 226. Um, he, hit, um, he hit 20 plus goals twice uh, for Chelsea. Um <laughs> Surpri- All player, surprisingly just- though he, he wasn't he wasn't just a goal scorer he was He's a bit of everything uh, Mike alone some people would put him in there. So, <laughs> how dare you say that name you hate it to you be fair you have to put him in there I, I haven't put him in my top 10 I don't think I don't know but You're but, but personally far. I think he deserves a shout 150 Premier League goals That's a shout. can I say one thing though? Can I say he one hates thing? him he literally hates Mate, him I'm going to take great pleasure in saying he doesn't belong there but I've got to mention him one thing for Michael Owen he won the Ballon d'Or. He did. He's not he getting. Won. He's not getting a <laughs> shout. It was a rough he's, year. No, rough he's year. not getting a shout. He's getting in. He's in the top ten. Okay. Michael well, Owen. Are you taking a piss? Hey, you hate him. Some, as well. some others. Luis Suarez, hundred percent, not getting in, hundred percent, not getting in for me. Because mate, that guy not getting in. put Liverpool on his back that season and nearly won it. Like that. That season, and there was one where one he season. had the ban. Nearly didn't done he? A he had the ban. He had the ban. So in the in the season, he had a Nearly six a game Spurs. ban, and then he played for the entire season. I think he ended on thirty one goals. Uh, just to be clear, pretty good. Suarez. He, so I mean, he good. did he's fight Ivanovic. Few. So he, he's one of the few players. Yeah. To have hit, I think your hands in the way. Of Sorry, camera. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's one of the few players to hit thirty goals in a Premier League season before. Like that's a very rare. Robin thing. Van Persie and um, yeah, Van Persie. Should, yeah, we'll talk about him. But Suarez got sixty nine goals in one hundred and ten games. That's amazing. I mean, his goals per game is right up there with the great. Okay. Uh, Robin Van Persie has got 144 Premier League goals. The issue with him is it was longevity. and Because he, he, he was at a club he, that he was dying at and they're just rubbish. Uh, There's nothing but, but to do about it. But he did hit 30 goals in a Premier League season and he also yeah. hit 20 plus in one season. Other than that, Quality. he didn't maintain those high numbers in the way others. Remember, just on this year, remember when we missed out on the, we missed out on the title and goal difference and our manager says that's not going to happen again and he's going to bring in someone and he, he, it wasn't he gets it. one guy Brian, he gets one I, guy can I say a name that has to be in the top 10 go for it Vardy <laughs> just the story just, just the story right he's played in every level of English football he's risen up the pyramid he's joined the Premier League at what age he's in late 20s his missus is a snitch though 
Is, let's not talk about the misses today. <laughs> we're, not, we're not talking about who's the best wag, who's the top 10 wags. That's got to be. That's got to be. Come on. Fateri Henri. Fateri Henri. Can we list Kate Abdo as a wag? Or is that not? Yeah. Uh, All right, Carragher. Yeah. Yeah. 130 goals in the Premier League, can we just say? No. What a player. The, yeah. Uh, 130 what goals? Not, yes. In not the Premier in, League? Yes. I'm surprised by that. And a Premier League winner as well. So do we, so do we have one just for a magical moment? A magical I'll be on moment, Tracker. Jamie Vardy is 15th in the all-time top scorers, but I'm willing to bump people up, in my opinion, if their goals per game ratio is particularly good. But I will make exceptions in my head for like, if you played at a lesser club, yeah. I think Vardy does touch that, in, but but the goals per game, I'm not sure on. Oh, come on, it's also, not only is it about that, that though, it's also about stories. Like, we, like let's be honest, Honest. When we think back about the sort of the best Premier League teams of all time, you think about that Leicester team as uh, sort of going. The narrative was so beautiful; it was such an amazing story. And then Vardy, on top of that, has this sort of this unbelievable rise through the leagues. It arrives late, almost like a bit like Ian Wright, who, by the way, we haven't mentioned, but sort of that that kind of level, right? And I just like that sort of narrative of I could have been Jamie Vardy. Well, he, Do you know, what he, I, mean? he I was them playing that Sunday he, league. He won them that league, he and, did. and the, the amount of goals in a game uh, in a row that he, he hit was. Outrageous. Um, so I look, I'll tell you what I'll do just to help refresh some of your memories. I'm going to name a few others yep. um, that we haven't named. So Jermaine Defoe, Robbie Fowler, um, Mike Alone, Les Ferdinand, Terry Sheringham, Robin Van Persie, uh, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, a Chelsea uh, legend. Did love Jim. Uh, ah. Robbie Keane. Um, so yeah, the, and even Romelu Lukaku is uh, in that list. But for Get me, rid of him. Um, <laughs> he's uh, Lukaku's right up there, by the way. In terms of goals. I know about by the way, we're only talking about like out and out number nines, aren't yeah, we? Like we're yes. talking about sort of central strikers. That's why we're not going to be mentioning players like Mo Salah, Mo Salah. Or, yeah. or Burkamp, or Burkamp, who yeah. probably more of a ten. Yeah, a bit of both. When he. Um, I, I reckon Diego Costa's worth a shout. Uh, I think he he won Chelsea a league. And look, it's about effectivity as well. It's not about how long you were there, but like what difference did you make? And he was a difference maker with 52 goals in 89 games. And he hit, he twice hit 20 goals in a season. Like he was the guy for Chelsea. He was a beast. And I think if he had hadn't had that bust up with uh, with Conte he could have uh, you know progressed and been one of the greats mm. for me I just I think of other Chelsea strikers let alone sort of the other names that we're talking about here I just don't think he's on that the only level thing, I love can I, can I give you like the number one while we just and you look and choose what number happens one. after that what do you mean the number one we're not we're not putting number one yet we're doing number <laughs> it's six it's Rooney though right we're doing number <laughs> <laughs> we'll get on to that. So we're doing we'll six. get on to that. So KG's coming. Let me suggest the number one. He's cameras. He's taking yeah. the form. I, like number one. I just want to let you know that. Six. I'm just going to the the top of the the bottom half. Yeah. For me. Yeah. Looking at this now, Drogba. It's Drogba, isn't it? Didier. It's just a guy you knew with Drogba, you knew what you were getting with him. He came in the big moments. He stepped up. He got the goals. I know we're not talking about trophies I know we're not talking about FA Cups etc right but even in the Premier League he was just imperious and you think back about out and out strikers that you remember Didier Drogba just carried us there's, on his there's back. one player I he was so we can, good we can argue the toss right for me anyway Luis Suarez would argue it that's it and because Luis Suarez so Drogba hit 20 goals plus twice Suarez hit 20 goals plus once he hit 30 goals plus once and his goals per game ratio 69 in 110 versus 100 and 226 Drogba has the longevity but in terms of the level Luis Suarez had the greatest Premier League season of all time in my opinion he was, he was a was proper he? prick though wasn't he he was a proper I mean? prick like, Listen, and that's why I don't like no one's arguing that he's a prick mate <laughs> I, there's plenty of times I felt like Drogba was a bit of a prick I'll be honest with you. <laughs> was a prick. I think the thing with Suarez and I, I've got to be honest with you when you compare the two footballers I think Suarez just about edges it for me but the thing with Suarez I think Suarez will be remembered as a La Liga player more so than a Premier League player as magical as his season was in the Premier League and yeah. honestly remember the Norwich season, game those four goals I, that that performance it might be one, the greatest ever I, I cannot believe it one of those goals where he lobs the keeper is disgusting I mean, I mean, the, he was on fighting them in from 40 and, yards uh, do you know what I love about Suarez by the way like we, 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 the Premier League has got a bit of a reputation on the continent if you're going to be a Premier League number 9 you have to look like Didier Drogba you have to look like Alan Shearer you have to be big strong aggressive Luis Suarez came in and went let me show you how you do that differently mate he was brought in under the in the shadow of a signing of Andy Carroll by the way he was the B side yeah. They signed them together and he was just, oh, who's this guy? I'm telling you now, it's Drogba, guys. 
It is. He's 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 higher than them. It's he's he's a he's a problem. I think Drogba is just Drogba consistent threat. Drogba solo striker. You know you have to remember that the guy's playing against two wicked. And I'm talking like Vidic. I mean, this guy's played against Vidic Rio. He's always smashed Arsenal. Like that's for fun. I know. I'm talking in many games. Uh, and this is a big game player. Okay. So when you talk about moments, we have to, you have to add the moments tax in. Can, so for can, me, Luis Suarez good, good. Not ahead of Drogba. No, no. So he has the argument against. Drogba. Drogba, and I love Drogba, but this is just yeah. the argument against him. There was a few seasons where his goal return was poor by comparison. And I'll give you an example. In 29 games, he hit 12. In 19 games, he hit 8, which is actually good, sorry. 24 games, he hit 5. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, 11 goals in 36 games. That is not elite. Whereas was Luis, he a provider at times as well? But, but that, that's the point. But like, I'm just saying, if you were to criticise him, you would say occasionally in some season, yeah. as much as he hit 29 and 32 in one season, which was fucking insane. I don't know how the fuck he did that. The season before, he hit 5 and 24. How many golden boots has um, Suarez got? Uh, I know Drogba's well, got two. I think um, Suarez got one, I think. But... Um, Struggles got I think, I think the, the ultimate thing that, that rules it out for me is you look at Suarez and you think Barcelona player. Like you think about legacy. I think I think of Suarez personally as a Barcelona player. Like I think of him as Liverpool. I, I, I think I think, yeah, to, to kind of chime in with your point, I think it's just he did just spend a bit more of his prime in the Liga. Oh. And I think I think that's the only reason Drogba shades it for me. If Suarez had spent two more seasons in the Premier League we're not having this conversation. We're talking about top five for Suarez. And we he, are. We and are he, and he, he had, beat his way out. Are, are we? Are we in agreement? So, like goals per game, Luis Suarez had the greatest Premier League season of all time. We we can't yeah. even argue that. It, can't. Mm. No one's no one's better at it. It's not. I'm, you know what it is. Close. You know what it is. Yeah, I'm not even Ghanaian yet, but there's something about Suarez and the Liverpool thing. I just can't get with it. I just okay. can't like. I I'll, just, I'll take you. I'm both. so sorry. I, I, look, I haven't really got you know a preference because I love them both for different reasons. Drogba. Although Suarez is an arsehole, but as a player, he's a great player. Um, and you know what? A side note, because this is these are longer videos. I want to put this in. I did go and see Suarez, Messi, and uh, Neymar play uh, uh, for Barcelona. That must have been great. And then on, this is just to shout Suarez. He was the best of the three on the day. Mm. Like that was when I was like, oh fuck, you really are that guy. So anyway, look, we'll see. We'll see Drogba. God, Sixth, yeah. yeah, Suarez seventh. I think that's really yes. harsh, right? But it's just because the way that I remember him, I prefer Drogba. But of there course, you go. Yes. just gonna say, yes, <laughs> I'm with it. I support that. In, in terms of other players, <laughs> look, Andy Cole, Nistel Roy would be high up there. I think Andy Cole's got to be in the top ten, just he, with the number of goals and assists. He'd be my number yeah. eight. So yeah. is he fourth in the top top yes. scorers? Wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. We got we got Luis Suarez ahead of of. of and Andy Cole, yeah, he's a better footballer. Come on, mate, he's a better footballer. <laughs> Come on, let's be honest. He, your Andy Cole, uh, it, it, this is the maddest thing about Andy Cole. Yeah, he 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 hit uh, twenty plus goals in a season. Yeah, he only did it once. Like he he, he, he uh, sorry he, uh, for Blackburn, yeah. he hit over thirty once. Yeah, he never hit over twenty goals a season ever for Manchester United. Work that one out, and you're winning titles, mate. He wasn't as good as people remember him. He was oh, a very good striker, oh, 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 oh. but look, as a footballer, he, he was a good goal scorer. But like, there was a reason he was in rotation. He wasn't Alan Shearer. I'm going to say know? this. I'm going to say this for them. But the cameras at home, for the people watching at home, he used to play for Newcastle. He left kind of acrimoniously and <laughs> Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I've got to be honest. Though. I've got to be. Honest, I, I've got a lot of love for Andy Cole. Like, because yeah. I, I, my first ever memory yeah. of football was Andy Cole and Peter Bielsley for Newcastle. Peter Bielsley. And uh, <laughs> so he says it. So, so, I've got no. I, I don't want to come across as an underappreciator. And I, yeah. you know what? I've got to say, I think Andy Cole doesn't get the love he deserves. Actually, I no. agree, man. Um, because. At his best, yeah. and this is the caveat, he was one of the best seasons I've ever seen, but it was for Newcastle. And he had a long time at Manchester United, and I think, did his levels compare to Ruud van Nistelrooy, who, just to clarify, had 95 goals in 150 games. I put him ahead, and, though. And, and four, he hit, he, hit, he hit it four times, 20 plus goals. I still put him ahead, though. You put That's Andy Cole ahead of I have Nistel. to, I have to. Do you it's remember Nistel, Nistel, mate, You're the United to. fan, you're the United fan. I have fan to. I'm shocked by that. I, Nistelrooy carried through the titles, man. Again, Nistelrooy was your main man. He wasn't Andy Cole. He was no, more than no, that. Also, also, for admit, Van Nistelrooy, let me just say, for Van Nistelrooy, as a fan of a club who was a driver of yours for a long time. One of my, you know about you. Let me just say, Van Nistelrooy, for, I'd say, two or three years was one of the most frightening players in the Premier League he Andy he Cole was, a was never that Andy Cole was that. never you, that but you have to understand yeah, you're dealing with someone that like 
I, that's all I loved. Andy Cole to White York. Even Andy Cole, just when I think about strikers and Man United, and I do think it for England, I think that, the, I think he just, someone has just overlooked or not used correctly. I, I mean, think he's a, I think he's a phenomenal player. There's a player. reason why Real Madrid bought Nisleroy, right? There's a, Andy Cole wasn't gotten to Real Madrid. No offense, right? Andy Cole was a great what? Premier League player. Nisleroy was world class. But I think player. he fell out with the, he fell out with him and he yeah. chose Ronaldo. He, uh, as Fergie wanted to shake things up, he chose Ronaldo. Ronaldo, um, Ronaldo's not going to whip the ball into um, to to what Nisleroy the way he wanted, and we wanted to change our. Do way you of remember play. there was a goal Nisleroy scored against Fulham where he ran from the halfway line, he ran past everyone. Yeah, Andy Cole isn't scoring that man. He's just not I, everything Andy Cole can do. Van Nisleroy can do and better. He's bigger, stronger. Like he can hold the ball a better. He's 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 more pro- goals per game. I don't even need to check the records. He's more prolific. I have to ask. So what are you lot saying? Andy Cole like. Versus I, I, it's hard because you're the fan so you would watch a lot more of both of them for me I can't sit here and pretend that I watch loads of Andy Cole games do you know what I mean but yeah. in terms of I, as I say like Van Nistelrooy was one of the most threatening players in the Premier League you're he, not I celebrated because love... he missed a penalty yeah. do you know why because he never fucking missed a penalty in I, his life he was a bastard yeah. it was the era that, that era is just too that's my golden era when I think well, about Andy Cole Andy, Andy Cole, Cole. I, so I can't it's like I will never be able to see it differently and, so, and also while... like, let's look at the stats as well right fifth in assist fourth in all time goals for Andy Cole it, that's a lot more in terms of legacy is he fifth it? in assist yes wow yeah I can't Andy Cole incredible incredible well, like, why have we got Luis Suarez where we've got him? I don't know. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I really want to really know. It's a great point by Josh, right? But for me, the level, there is no way that Ruud van Nistelrooy ever plays in a form uh, uh, with Sheringham, uh, York, uh, Cole, Solskjaer. Van Nistelrooy is the man. Every fucking start, he is first name on the team sheet. You're not playing him in a rotation with four other, uh, with three other guys, mate. It's not happening. Oh, He's know. the man. I think when you look back, this, when you look back just... at it though, you have to also say like, how long was he in the Premier League for? And like, for me, right, there is a, there is a sort of tangible um, point that you've got to think about, about how much did they actually play in the Premier League and how much did they contribute to the sort of overall record of the Premier League, mm-hmm. right? If you're talking about all of those goals, all of those assists, yes, Van Nistelrooy came in, he was hot, he left the league, he was great in other leagues as well, right? Like, for me, it's about in the Premier League, impact. what did they do? Impact. What was the impact? And, when you, and he's on the history record. When now, you see, when Andy you Cole. think of Man United, yeah, and you think of strikers, you cannot not mention Andy Cole. You can't. Oh, it's mate, that's Van Nistelrooy for me. You I, can't. I, I, this is different eras, by the way. I'm just showing yeah. my age a little bit. I'm a bit younger, but like for me, when I think of frightening Manchester United striker, Andy Cole, I, ju- I just see that Dutchman with his hair, and I'm yeah. just like, oh he, no. Uh, he understood offside. He understood. No one understood offside better than him, and just he, finding that them them mud. Well, Van Nistelrooy. Van Nistelrooy. Yeah, mate. But I'm telling you now, if you just, when you if I close my eyes and think of Man United, Andy Cole. So we, are, uh, we, so, are wow. we saying eighth and ninth? Is this eighth and ninth? Is one of them going to be eighth? So we've, we've said that um, higher up. For we, we've said that Drogba's sixth, Suarez is seventh. Are we saying that this Andy Cole and, and Van Nistelrooy are eighth and ninth? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to <laughs> go with the United fan and let him call it. By the way, <laughs> Cole is he's quite far down from where he should be. Let's be. He's nuts. He should yeah. be higher than Suarez. Yeah, he's, for me, he's but he's then you lot like I, again. Su- Suarez is one of the best strikers in the world of the last twenty years. He is. But, he is. And like Brian said, like he, the, he, he, he. That's he, not even a debate. Like, it's not even a debate. I, I don't I, like him I'm either. Beyond biased. I mean, beyond biased. It's hard. For, I'm not going to lie. This yeah, is biased him, yeah. in there. So I can't stand him. I don't like him. No one likes him. I'm not you asking if you like the fact that he's, he, he is one of the best <laughs> I, I, strikers I, no. in the world. It's how you feel about Michael Owen. We should be talking. To, if we're doing this, Michael Owen's got to be right, for the So pool. here's how I see Andy Cole versus yeah. Van Nistelrooy. Uh, just to make my last uh, stand here. Andy Cole had a great season for Newcastle and yeah. then after that had a lot of longevity where he was a top Premier League striker in a rotation of others. Van Nistelrooy was the main man for Manchester United, the first name on the team oh. sheet. He was more prolific goals per game. He he was... he was No, Andy Cole was the main man and then people, when he wanted the rest, they played other players. Don't do that. Just, Andy Cole was the main it's man. It, no, it's true. It's tr- Andy Cole was the main man. Uh, it was it was, it was was Cole and York and then after Teddy and Teddy and Ollie will come and help out. Uh, but Andy Cole, main man, club ambassador, put him up higher than Suarez. Can I, can I just say, Peter Crouch got more goals than Luis Suarez in the Premier League. It 
exactly is is finished. But is Peter Crouch one of the best strikers in the world in the last twenty years? No. Has Peter Crouch ever had the greatest Premier League season? De- De- no, it is important. Dion De- De- hat- Dublin. I know Peter goals. Crouch has scored a perfect hat trick. <laughs> and a right for um, <laughs> and a right for left foot. <laughs> Right, I mean, so, so I'm, who's I'm, our bottom five? I'm happy. I'm happy to give on the on Thank the you. Van Nistelrooy thing, but the re, but what I will say is, I just think that he was a greater footballer than uh, than Andy Cole was. But I love Andy Cole for what he did in Newcastle, so I'm happy with that. But I just wanted, but as a fan, I always rated Nistelrooy. I'm glad we did this, Brian. Yeah. We finally. All right, who who would be number ten for you, lads? Because we got we we got a few others. We got like like we say, we've got uh, Costa Van Persie. Van Persie for me, and obviously yeah. as an Arsenal fan, like. Dude. He just wasn't a great striker for long enough. Because bear in mind, in his early 20s at Arsenal, he was a bit of a winger, played as a second striker in the Burkamp position for a while. He probably only really had two or three seasons where he was fit for us Injury. and really good. And then he had one with you. So I, I don't think he a was... Bit a bit remember that's that's ironically, because we've been <laughs> glazing over Andy Cole, Van Persie um, hit, once hit 30 goals in a season, same as Andy Cole. Yes. But he actually hit 20 goals in a season, which Andy Cole didn't other, other than that. And in terms of all-time goals... Andy Cole has 187 Van Persie's on 144 he's not that far behind him no. given the fact that he didn't he spend as long lot. he missed a lot of football remember Andy Cole played for Man United Newcastle Blackburn he was in the league constantly forever so I think in terms of again Andy Cole's level I'd put Van Persie's level ahead of Andy Cole oh. you see the goals that Van Persie scored Andy Cole ain't scoring those goals He's not. This is br- that volley that Wayne Rooney set yeah. up. Andy Cole ain't scoring that. I can't. Uh, sorry, man. I love Andy Cole. I, I, I really am getting. I no, can't, gonna, I've I already can't committed do this. this I, I like your Vardy shout. I, th- I really like Vardy for me. Shout. Has Ahead to be of Ro- Robin Van Persie. Mate, come on. Though. Ahead of Robin Van Persie. He was doing argument. it for Leicester. Like he was this. doing it for Leicester. He wasn't doing it for Man United and Arsenal. He's doing it for Leicester. Can I just say, though, the Arsenal team that Van Persie played for were bums like absolute bums oh, oh, wow. there was no Riyad Mahrez in that Arsenal team do you know team. what the thing he was, was getting through him, relegation. Mate, <laughs> <laughs> he, if it weren't for him they fucking could have been he was getting three balls from Alex Song from Denilson <laughs> he was trying to work out which way Hleb was going to go next Van Persie look I've got to be he I, I, him. I hated him when he left us he put up with some shit when he was with us when Fabregas wasn't on that pitch and people forget Fabregas used to get injured a lot when Fabregas wasn't on that pitch it, it was literally Van Persie a lot of the time so I, I will just say uh, when, when we're doing the whole have you played in a bad team do you get credit for that Van Persie was playing in some really bad Arsenal team mm. and the little boy inside when he went to United and they the don't little, do the little, the little boy, boy inside, inside. <laughs> hey that little boy inside man that little boy inside better not see me <laughs> <laughs> fucking little boy can stay little inside you're inside. weirdo <laughs> fucking the little, little boy inside, inside. I, 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 I understand that longevity plays a role and like I think Vardy's a hell of a shout. Like it, for him to not get in the top ten, it's a hell of a shout. But ele- then you've also got players like Jermaine Defoe. Not, ele- we, haven't Fowler? Fowler. we haven't even mentioned Robbie Fowler. Robbie Fowler. We haven't even mentioned. He's a like, pure goal scorer. He's a like, listen, Vardy. If you want to get him in there, eleventh. But he's not on the you show. We're doing put, the top ten. You know why I put Vardy? I, I put Vardy ahead of Fowler uh, and and Mike alone. He won the Premier League for Leicester. That was monumental. And without him, the best story in the history of the Premier League would probably never have happened. So, like, I, I feel like him versus Van Persie is a fair off. And, and when you say he won the league for Leicester, he really won the league for Leicester. Like, Le- Leicester do not get anywhere near that Premier League title. Can I him. raise my hand and say that when you talk about winning a league for a club, this is the one of the greatest managers to ever step foot, like, to breathe, yeah? Sir Alex, 20 times. This is this is the guy that solidified that. This is the guy that done it, Robin Van Persie. So, he, we, again, even Pep done the interview, said... We didn't have him. We didn't have that striker. We needed we needed a Van Persie. That was the difference. So we we know for sure there's two players that you can really argue now won them won the league for their team. Do you know what? I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Jamie Vardy because because you've just said it. You had one of the greatest managers of all time. Yeah. Leicester didn't. Uh, sure. Do you know what I mean? Like you had a, a whole bunch of winners oh. who, although they were aging, they weren't as good as they used to be. You still had them more than Leicester had. He you had Rooney, the, you true. had Carrick. He yeah. was the but Van Persie. We wouldn't, wouldn't have won that league. Yeah, no, I agree. That's why. That's why status. it's between these two. But, but, but KG, you could have got another striker. You could have bought someone else who might have come in and done who? that for you. I Him, know, like a Ben. That, like over the, the, no one. There, there's other players. No one come in and done that. No, no one could have ever done. We what changed. I did. No, this is. Do you know how mad it was? Imagine having winners real winners yeah and saying Fergie stopped to done the, tra- the training you know Rio said he said listen guys stop everything that you're doing 
you pass it to him. Do you know what that means as a striker? Imagine everything you played at the highest level. You've won many, many things. He's not won. Do you not think? League do you not think Ranieri was saying exactly the same thing about no, Emi Vardy? Just different... get it over the top. No, do you remember it was all the goal. Do you remember against Man United? I remember. But it was inevitable. <laughs> <laughs> Scores and he wheels away, having the record. And we'll vote now. You're saying RVP. I'm just gonna be very honest. If he hadn't, if it weren't for the little boy inside, I would be voting for RVP. That's disgusting what you're doing. But the little boy inside disgusts me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going Jamie Vardy. No. Give me all the Red Bulls in the world. I'm going for Vardy. <laughs> Jamie Vardy. All right. Jamie Vardy. <laughs> Jamie Vardy's having a party. Bring your vodka around your Anyway. <laughs> okay. now, now we get to interesting because we've done the bottom half that was of the insane. table. insane. And now we all move right. up Let's to, get up. to the top five where we already know it's going to be tricky um, it can't be Alan Shearer that's just because he's the top goal scorer ever I can't have him in fifth right five for me Harry Kane <laughs> why, is, why is Harry Kane worse than Aguero because I'm he's never won anything um, that's important the, good point <laughs> no, no. and I think it's pretty important <laughs> um, yeah I, Harry Kane is fifth in that list for me I'm looking okay. at them as footballers I'm looking at them as footballers I think that Rooney Shearer Henri and Aguero are better footballers than Harry Kane okay. to counter that though we were just talking about Vardy excelling in a poor team mm. unless we're not be- <laughs> Spurs weren't the best team you know in the what, world I, 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 I'll be honest lads Harry Kane don't care about I, I feel nothing for him he's the Manchester City of footballers I don't he care should have went to Man City he made me feel like nothing they make me feel like nothing yeah. however when I look at the numbers it's just not he's the, fifth I, I can't debate it for me and I, I like Wayne Rooney but I think he's he no be way. let me explain no, let me accept, let me set my stall out let me set my stall out don't take the piss we're talking let, let, me, let, let me explain alright please listen I'm this is really like having like a it's struggle. a therapy it's a, session it's yeah. like a <laughs> Okay. Okay. I just I just have to look them in the eye going, listen to me. We've all been there, lads. We've all been there, right? So so, so uh, the thing I took paid attention to in the records is how often do you hit 20, 20 a season or 30 a season? Because for me, crossing those milestones, it, it's it's a real like rarity that strikers do this. And the more I look, the more I realize the difference in in strikers. And the goal of a striker is to score goals, okay? You we mentioned in Harry Kane here. Harry Kane has scored 20 or more four times. He's also then went and scored on top of that 30 or more two times. Wayne Rooney has only scored 20 or more twice in a season. Harry Kane's done that six times. I can't compare that. I, I As much as I rate Wayne Rooney as a footballer, and I think he's been a fucking... The if best. we're talking about who's the better footballer, the best. but I'm talking about strikers. For me, Wayne Rooney's numbers, when I look at him, compared to Aguero, yeah. Shearer, Henry, Kane, they just he's don't not stack up, man. He's not so, so str- straight away, he's not fifth. You said this thing about winning, and that was I thought that was important. We didn't address that. <laughs> what did Suarez win quickly with, with Liverpool when he was there? Did he win anything? Good point. Exactly. So we will address that and move Andy Cole to where he should be. Now, in this <laughs> <laughs> in this Let situation, no, never. Right. In this situation, yeah, what this guy did, he sacrificed. You're talking a guy about a guy that was too good, too nice. He sacrificed himself for Ronaldo. He moved out. There was many a times where, and this the assist count, I think he's got over a hundred and something over a hundred and something assists for Man United. We're talking about and three assists total. 103 assists. So that's Mr. Sacrifice, yeah. Goal scored, I think was it two. 208. 208. Yeah. We're talking, this is, these are real numbers. So there's the, so an who, out position. So, so, so and he's who, done who, who's your fist? Who's your fist? Harry Kane. Harry Kane, from there. I'm trying to put Rooney. I'm Please. I'm arguing for Rooney to get real high up this table right there's now. There's a realistic scenario in which Harry Kane comes back to the Premier League and ends up winning the record and you're putting him in fifth. Absolutely. Right. But can I just say there was a realistic scenario that Harry Kane was going to go to Germany and win the Bundesliga and he hasn't done that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say. Yeah, he scored some, a lot of goals. He scored a lot of goals. Something about that guy stinks and something about him stops him winning stuff. And I think <laughs> I think it's something that he's caught from his club. I'll be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but now, yeah, yeah. I, I look, can I just say I hear you? And if he does, if he does come back to the Premier League and take that record, we have to change this conversation a little bit. I do think there's merit in the argument that R- Wayne Rooney, whilst he's I think he's one of the icons of the Premier League. I think he's one of the best Premier League footballers ever. Maybe he's not the best Premier League striker ever. 
I'm, so I, 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 I think these two are fourth and fifth. I think no, these two no, are fourth no, and fifth. Where I've, wrote, I've got, I've got Wayne got Rooney been. ahead of Alan Shearer, mate. Alan Shearer can be, Alan Shearer can be um, third in this list. That's where he's going for me. There you go. That's happy. But, 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 wait, 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 we're jumping ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so you know. we, we need to pick a fifth place. And, and or, or, I think what, ma- what makes it easier is when we identify two players and we go, who's going fourth and fifth? So around the table, is there a fourth and fifth argument? Kane. Kane is one of them. Aguero. Do you know why I feel harsh on Kane? Ooh. As much as I, as much as I, I feel nothing for the guy, I'm not. But he's got 213 goals in 317 games, and he's in terms of the amount of times he's hit 30 goals in a season. Only Alan Shearer, I think, has done it more times than he has, yeah, and that's for Spurs as well. Like, yeah. come on, Kane, they're not in the top guys, four even some fifth. of those seasons. Guys, he's fifth. Yeah, we let's not let's not fight this. He's fifth, and this he comes back and does something miraculous and amazing. We still got and that German thing. That Germany thing is serious right away. They, him not doing it there. Him oh. having the same excuse to saying, "Ah, look at my team." No, bro. I prefer Rooney. Right, I like Rooney more as a footballer. Yes, that's the but. If if I was saying who's the better footballer, who do I rather watch? It's Wayne Rooney every fucking day. Who who's the most spectacular player? Maybe big game player or whatever. It's finished. But when when I look at the numbers, it's it's staggering how Kane has gotten beat so so clearly. Guys, let's not. But do the this. assist, he's first on the assists, Rooney. Really, well, Harry Kane's got a lot of assists. I'm just nah, saying. Wait, but he's, yeah. not, he's not got the same. I know he ain't got the same level. Maybe. Hundred and what do you call it? Let's 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 not playing around. When he's not in there, that conversation, Kane number Kane is number um, five. Um, Aguero number four. Kane's number two in reality in terms of all time goal score. You know I, mean? I, I think I think the goal contributions you have to factor in, and for me, I don't think Rooney can be in the fourth or fifth picture because of the he's he's number one in terms of assists for striking. Oh my goodness. If you add them together, you know, Rooney Rooney is third in terms of all-time goal scorers and he's first in terms of all-time assists. So I don't think you can put him in fifth. Where, where's Harry Kane in terms of assists? Uh, Harry play? Kane isn't in the top 30 for assists. Bloody is he not? Hell. No. Fuck it's me. finished, mate. <laughs> it's finished. I mean, I, Harry look, Kane is the goal I, I'm happy if you want to Even at me. Everton as well. Even at, Don't forget the young kid from Everton comes to Man United, gets a hat trick in the Champions League. Let's not mess around, please. I just don't want to be harsh to Kane, even though I don't really love, love him. him. I mean, Sorry, correction. Harry Kane is 25th. All right. No, okay. He's not in the top 20. Love him, fifth. I can go with Kane fifth. I, he, I, he's just saving his argument for Thierry Henry. Uh, yeah, no, I, 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 personally, do you know my one thing about Kane? If I was to be critical, it's like that big game player thing. Of like, yeah. Whereas Rooney at times was stepping up in those. I people. think the debate is actually between Aguero and Kane. Personally, Thank you. Well, Rather, I think yeah, I think fifth, I think you can I, have Rooney. You know what? I, I, I could I could. There, there was a couple of seasons for City where Aguero was just unplayable. <sighs> I was doing disgusting stuff. There was also seasons where he was just the finishing cog in a machine that was unstoppable and he less so certainly less so than Rooney but massively less so than Kane in terms of Aguero's influence on that City team I think it's lower than anyone else in the top five so if we're saying that the top five is Henri, Shearer, Kane, Rooney and Aguero I think over the course of his career with City, I think Aguero had a, a smaller influence on his own team than the others. Would you guys agree with that? I think so. And that's Would you agree with that? Got to consider it. And the thing with Aguero, though, is he had that moment and he's got all of the trophies as well. So it makes that's the thing that I, I'm ranking between those two. I find it very difficult because Kane doesn't have the trophies, but p- like individually, he's a better four. player. So you you would go Kane fifth. But then we Aguero have to, fourth. let's not forget. Aguero will have these mad layoffs, yeah, come back and still be like top goal scorer as mm, well. Yeah, true. like easy. Like there's no, he, let's say he missed like three months of football. Okay. He's going to be the, I, I, I'm having him, I'm having Aguero fourth. I, I think, I, I'm happy to agree that Kane is fifth, but I think there's a r- very realistic opportunity, a chance that he comes back into the Premier League and we all have to change. Until he does it. But right now, yeah, yeah. But right now, I, I'll, I'll go I'll, Kane fifth. Just to be clear, like Wayne Rooney for Manchester United. Yes. He's averaging roughly a goal in every game, right? In every other game, sorry. Harry Kane's off- offering two in every three, mate. He's, mm. he's outscoring Rooney but he's, just by a mile. And assist is the assist that's okay. not bad. Goal okay. contributions are important. Yeah. So should we go should we go Kane in fifth? Yep. You, Do it. If, if you want. Yes, please. Lock it in. <laughs> As an uh, it in. This feels harsh, but <laughs> it it's not harsh at all. And then Aguero in fourth. I, think yeah, I, 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 I think don't know about that. Like, you, yeah, I, really. no, do you know what? I'm putting my fucking hand okay, down. Okay. No, you <laughs> can't. i got to lift it up. Right, from what I'm reading, and look, I, 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 <laughs> I think that you really are like my message. Uh, <laughs> I, 
I, I'm looking at Rooney, who's got, I think from what I'm looking at the Manchester United stats, just because I quickly had a look there, like 183 in 393 league games for Manchester United. Bloody hell. Aguero had 184 in less than 100 less games. Pep Mate, Guardiola he, Agu- Aguero is smoking Wayne Rooney. Pep Guardiola It's not text. even close. Sterling it's goals. Not, Sterling, Sterling, in, this. Sterling in the Man City side. Do you know the difficult, thing with, the difficult thing we're doing now is we're conflating being a goal scorer and the rest of the game. And ultimately, we're talking about strikers right now. They, and we have to accept the fact that Rooney, I know he got a lot of assists. He got a lot of them from midfield. Let's bear in mind he spent a lot very, of seasons very, playing further and further back, playing as a ten, dropping back, great. assisting Van Persie. That's why his numbers are don't lie. Uh, yeah, but yeah, but KG, if we're talking about the best number tens to ever play in the Premier League, where is he on the all-time goal scoring record? Where is he? Where? Rooney, yeah. third, third. And you've got you've got your guy up there. You're trying to lobby for your man to win it all. Yeah, Sergio Aguero though. If no, you're trying to lobby for Alan Shearer to we're not, be. We're not there. even talking about it. Lo- <laughs> <laughs> he's lobbying for wait, for, the, for the number because he's got the goal scoring record. So I'm saying you can't put my guy right now in fourth or fifth. None of these. He's up there. He's in, if I finish this and he's in the top one, two, one. I'm happy. My I'm happy. personal order. Yeah, I would personally have. Shearer and Henri in the top two in what in a di- whatever order we can talk about that but for Wayne Rooney to have only hit 20 plus goals in a season twice in his whole fucking career yeah. and when you've got Sergio Aguero who's outscoring him in a hundred less games doesn't matter my blow doesn't me. matter I, I, I can't argue I, I like Rooney Aguero's fourth Aguero's outscoring him Aguero's he, Aguero's fourth. lapped him mate Aguero's fourth let's not do this guys Come the thing is I think if you were to say between Aguero and Rooney if they were to play the same amount of games as a number nine Aguero would come out and more goals where, if, they, if they say they where, just said both Rooney, players so you put Rooney in that Man City team and said just we're, whichever team goals, if, but in terms of playing as a number nine I, I, I think what I'm Wait. saying is I think Rooney is a great footballer but I think he played all around the pitch a bit I think his contribution to the game wasn't just as a striker no, that's it. KG there's a reason that yeah. your manager the best manager of all time yeah. looks at a team that had Rooney in it and went I need to buy Van Persie no because again there was a, you have to understand no one ooh, ever did that no one ever did that like, with Aguero no, you Pep you never looked at Aguero yeah. and said I need to you buy a striker you have to understand no it's not a mic shop <laughs> Pick the mic up. Pick that mic up. That's <laughs> <laughs> nah, a good point there. That's a good point there. But I will say that it was the personality. Is that one of the things that one of the things about Rooney? He said it himself. How the other players? He wasn't selfish enough. He just wasn't selfish enough. He would put players. Then he's not a striker. Uh, then he's, he's not a striker. A stri- no, he's a striker. If, but if we're he talking about greatest just... footballer in Premier League history. I think it's a different kind of conversation. But we're talking about strikers, and strikers are judged on their goals, man. Like and Wayne Rooney's goals don't. Stack the other not other. Above. Wayne Rooney's Wayne goals Rooney. do not stack up to anyone else. Like even Harry Kane, to put him above Harry Kane, is harsh on Kane. It's yeah, it's harsh on Kane. Do you know? Do you not think there's a moment as well though? At the end of Aguero's career at Man City, he was he was being favoured as a full line. There were other options that were being played over Aguero. Do you not? Do you, does that not? I, think, I, your think, I think. I think they've done late. nine. They said no. 184 striker. goals in 275 games. We're talking about strikers right now. Got, We're got, talking got, about strikers. We're not talking about footballers. Yeah. We're not talking about assists. We're not talking about what you do the rest of the pitch. As I say, no one ever looked at Aguero and went, mm, you're good, but I need a striker. And I know what you're saying about when, when they phase him out of the team. Let's be really you honest with You could argue, Jesus. You could argue, just saying, just in case someone... Mm, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was no, no, playing. No, 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 no. no. Let, let me address that very True. quickly. They did not buy Gabriel Jesus because they looked at Aguero and went, we need another striker. They bought Gabriel Jesus because he was 19 years old. And How do you know? Are you, part the, are you part of the coaching department? <laughs> to be fair. Okay, okay, no, no, that, okay that, let me that answer that. Can I just answer mate? that quickly? Um, they did not buy Gabriel Jesus and then play him as number nine and move Aguero out the way. He was a substitute they that would said, come on sometimes. Sometime. Sometime. Guess, sometime. guess what happened? Aguero got his spot back. Exactly. Yeah, where, where, whereas said, with Rooney and Van Persie, Rooney moved back in the pitch, Van Persie started. So it, I'm not having that argument. Wait, right? hold on. Guys, sometimes he listened to the little boy inside and the oh, little stop. boy inside had to start. <laughs> what, the little boy? <laughs> no, we can't. I mean, not literally. No, okay, <laughs> my, my, I'm going to suggest, right, Rooney four, Aguero oh. three. Where, where have you done? Where have you gone from? I'm, there, I'm there with that. And by the way, I love Rooney. I love Rooney. You I don't. love Rooney so much. I, I rate him so you high. Don't. But bro, we're talking strikers. If no. we're talking tens, if we're talking attacking midfielders, Bomb. if we're talking players that impact the Premier League, Rooney's up there. As a striker, Aguero's this is better. This is ridiculous. So wait, oh. he scored more goals, uh, you know, for Man City than and Rooney scored for Man United in a hundred Aguero... games. In a hundred games less, mate. Is it Aguero... in a hundred games? Aguero ahead of That's three. He could have taken three seasons. Aguero ahead of 
Aguero's not ahead of Shiro. Well, Rooney's still fucking playing. Yes, Aguero and come back and when you're still not fucking matched us yet. Aguero's not ahead of Alan Shiro at all. He's not like... No, I mean, how I are we mean, doing look, this? Uh, that's an argument to have, but like... It isn't really if we're looking at stuff. I see. This is, this is, it doesn't make sense. Sure, we're just sure creating a lot more things game. that work. Like we're looking at things that just work for us and saying, "Yeah, that's the argument." No, you can't say Aguero is ahead of. Wayne. I'm using stats. You though. can't. It's not really. You an can't opinion. do this. I, I preferred the way Rooney Rooney Rune played football. I like the ferocity, the intensity, he's some of the goals. Uh, I'd rather watch Wayne Rooney. He's but way if you're up. saying if I had a, 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 a starting line to win us a cup final, who's the more prolific striker? It is clearly undeniable. You're going to start Aguero. Aguero ahead of Rooney. That's what's the truth, mate. It's you not even choice. A... Even Man City tried to buy. What are you not talking about? They tried to bring in, um, um, what do you call it, Wayne Rooney. Remember that season when Aguero was there? They and they had, we had, wasn't Rooney just flirting to try and no, they you. tried and then people, you lot know what happened. Trump. They superly tried. So back at you, mate. Throw that shit on the floor. They wanted to. The, they wanted you Rooney have a to replace with this idea, Josh. Is there any issue with what I'm suggesting? There yes, with fourth and third. Go on. <sighs> I personally would go Rooney in Thank third. you, Josh. I just, I just ahead think of Aguero. I would go ahead of Aguero. I just think in terms of like, if you look at the numbers, to have Rooney, who's the third time top goal scorer and first in assists, like I know goals per game and contributions per game is important, right? But I also look at the sort of overall impact of the league and they're the ones that are right up there in terms of the overall stats. And so for me, I think in terms of the overall legacy on the league, Love you, Josh. I, know Aguero, I know Aguero has the moments that we will always remember, probably <laughs> One of the best moments. Hold on, Aguero's fifth in the old time. Rooney's third. Okay, Wayne Rooney's just... Wayne Rooney's got uh, forty more goals than Aguero. So and and he's done it in Number double 40. the games. Oh. But what but what I'm saying is I, I'm saying it's not all based on on goals per game. Okay. It's based on overall impact. How many goals did they have in the Premier League total? Fair enough. I, I, fair I, that's why I would go. That's why I would go Rooney in third. That's fair enough. I, I think doesn't... it's super tight, and and I I wouldn't I would worry either way. I'm more than happy. I love Rooney. I'm more than happy to have Rooney as the third. Thank you. I th- I know what you're saying about overall impact on the league, but I'm saying overall impact on the league as a striker. How often was Wayne Rooney the main striker at Man United? I don't think it was that often. Ho, ho. I don't fair, think it was that the main fair, piece. No. I'm saying right now, Rooney is the was the main piece and he's our all-time leading goal scorer at Man United. He's our main piece. We built round Rooney. Was he your Can main striker? Can I just striker? do everything? Can was I just do something right striker? No, he Can just I just do something everything? Else? Remember that? Huh? <laughs> Remember that moment <laughs> when he's running away? Oh, and he finally yeah. ends your oh. fucking club. <laughs> Remember that? Oh, I don't have something soft to throw. <laughs> <laughs> I want to chill like George right. Bush. George Bush have to throw a slipper. <laughs> You I tell play. you what, Brian, you don't want to use your trump card right now on arguing Aguero not, over this because you're going to need that trump card in a second. This is the thing. I accept the point in terms of longevity, but I've made my opinion, but look, the table didn't accept it. Right. You're saying Rooney third? Yeah, third. No, we split. Third. We split. What are you you're, saying? Well, we split because I'm saying Aguero third. Leave it in the comments. Right. The comments. I'll, I'll, accept, uh, I'll accept it uh, for the li- the official list of the kickoff. Yes. Rooney goes third. Personally, I, I would have had Aguero third, but Rooney third, Aguero fourth. Come on! All right. Last two, Henri versus Shearer. Does anyone rate Shearer higher? Because uh, I know, like, here's my case. Yeah. I'll, I'll state my case. Yeah. Two career-ending injuries came back from them both. Won the league with Blackburn, which is insane as it is. Because yes, they they bought a few good players, but looking back at it, they collapsed immediately afterwards. It was very much fun. He yes. was a Jamie Vardy of yeah, Blackburn. Right, yeah. The difference being, just get my little uh, my notes up here. Here's what makes Alan Shearer. Why you're looking for your special. notes? Special. Okay, you got your notes already. <laughs> <laughs> for, m- m- obviously, he scored more goals than anyone. We all know that. But it was it was the the special season. So I talked about the twenty. Uh, the, how many times he hit twenty goals a season and thirty goals? He hit thirty goals in a season three times mm. more than any other striker to do that. Mm. Four uh, four times he hit twenty goals in the season and he hit two sixty in total for Blackburn and Newcastle. Who both of them, especially Newcastle, were like mid-table at best for a lot of this time there. I think he was wanna, carrying them. I'm not going to lie, yeah. <laughs> I know this is a bit cheeky. I want to bump Rainy Rainy. No way. <laughs> Uh, it's no chance. Right, so uh, wait a second. We've had a really, we, we've had a, we've had a case for Shearer. Can we have a case for Tierra uh, Reed? Tierra Reed is, I don't think. No, no. Like, can I make it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've been waiting for this one the whole time. Go on. 
KG, if you want to, no, you no, can no, make no, no the floor's your, the floor's his. He's been waiting for this. this. Thier, Thier, Thierry Henry, in my opinion, sits in a tier with Cristiano Ronaldo as being the two best players to ever play in the league. As a striker, I don't think he was just the best striker that ever played in the league. I think he changed how strikers played in this league. I think I think he changed the position in terms of drifting away from the number nine spot, in terms of attacking the box from wide positions, in terms of assisting other players. He, he was the record assist holder for quite a long time. He scored eight, he got 80 assists. Now assist count. Mate, it's not just the assist it's count. Like, it's because he changed the position. Mm-hmm. Like, I, th- I think he changed football. I think I like the fact that he didn't win the Ballon d'Or. Pavel Neved won it above him is an absolute fucking Six joke. Space. And I've got to be honest, it stinks of corruption. Yeah. Um, I, I I think I, <laughs> imagine comparing Nedved. Uh, I know. I would. Yeah, like, Nedved's a good footballer, but fuck me. That yeah, was and and also, but back then, like, I we we can talk stats. We can, and look. She- Shearer spent more time in the Premier League than Thierry Henry and I do think if Thierry Henry had stayed in the Premier League for longer he, he would have just wiped the floor with everyone in terms of statistics But I wouldn't say wiped the floor but he would have beaten them he would, yeah he would have beaten them but the, the, the thing I'm going to say for Thierry Henry I have never seen a footballer who was so clearly ahead of everyone else on the pitch in terms of he could play a game at his own pace he could start walking and then just go past someone. Mm. He could beat players. He could score goals from absolutely anywhere. When I say anywhere, I mean he could score nearly forty-yard free kicks. He could score tap-ins. He could come. He could start with the ball on the left-hand side on the touchline and then dribble in and score goals. These are just things that the other players we're talking about just couldn't do. Mm-hmm. The, this guy's a god. Let, let's be really clear. This guy's a god. And like, it's not just that he did this for Arsenal. He did it for the Premier League. Like he changed the way that he changed. I mean, I'm not taking anything away from Shearer. Like I I think Shearer is a fantastic player. He's a fantastic goal scorer, Mm. and he absolutely deserves to be number two in this list. Thierry Henry changed the way people think about strikers. Not not just goal scorers, strikers. He changed the position. He evolved the position into something else, and he evolved it for the better. We enjoy football more because of what Thierry Henry did for football in this league. I, 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 think, I understand because I, I hate him, so I know what you mean. Do you know I hate, bit, but I, I respect him. Even I respect him more now. But I remember the pain I, I, that I, I got from he, him. How he played football, incredible. So everything you're saying, I can't refute none of Sam it. Sam Allardyce did an interview once where he said, "I've literally had to say to my players, the only way I think we can stop him is beating him up." Yeah, it's serious. Yeah, yeah. I, I, like, and and you, you guys, you guys are opposition fans, right? So you've got yeah. a different perspective on this. I'm asking all of you: How did you feel when Thierry Henry turned up? There was. Like, a, how did you feel there, when he I, came I distinctly play? remember there was a, there was a powerlessness feeling when yeah. you were like, nah. like if he has a, a good game with, fo- and this was, you know, when Newcastle had Shearer. I mean, yeah. to be fair, this was when Newcastle. The last time I remember was playing uh, Highbury. It was was when we were competing for the top four, and yeah, the level was outrageous. Like it. He was a magician, but a powerful one. Most magicians, mm-hmm. you either get blessed with technique or power, right? Messi mm-hmm. yeah. wasn't a big, powerful guy. But yeah, comparing him to Cristiano is absolutely uh, right because well, he was a he, big, strong So lad. when he does that, yeah, it, and you how you spoke about... Terrible right? in the air, though, by the way. Terrible in the air. Yeah, how you speak about him. And we've, we've done someone a real disservice, by the way, like disgusting, and we might have to address this top 10 because we've left out, um, we've left out the main man at City, the robot. Harlan. We, he, he we will be in there one day. Too early, too yeah. early. It's to not there. though. How many goals did he score in one season, bro? Yeah, we, we can't do that. Like, as a strike, yeah, are, we, are we just doing the thing legacy. that we do? Are we doing? Are we just being old right now? No, no, no. Nah, you got to have done more than two seasons. He's not completed two seasons yet. He won the treble. We're talking about history, though. Let's, we put we're in, talking about history. We're, uh, we're day, putting in Vardy. One before, day, oh, but one day he could be. But mate, we're talking about people who've got hundred plus goals and all of this, man. Like we need to. He's gonna be on. I know he's going to. He might be ten years. Come back for ten years. To say Cantona and you've said Haaland. No, Come because on. I'm. I understand, but I'm. Oh. Ju- I'm saying that you can't. Are we going? Are we taking what? a piss? Yeah, right right but he's not in the history books yet. He's, it's right now. He's just started. We he's writing to... history. Let's, no, let's stick to Thierry for a minute. Because he deserves. He deserves <laughs> I know. I'm, 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 I'll, I'll get back to if it. Thierry but, Henry could listen we'll, to this, and he's we'll like, "Hang on." They started talking about me, then started talking about Erling Haaland yeah. halfway through. I, I understand exactly what um, Henry was, and I, I remember the pain because he did it to us. Mm. Yeah, but then when I think about Wayne, I get. I I, I love um, I love um, Alan Shearer but then again should have come to United would have helped <laughs> yeah should have sh- definitely Wayne Rooney is number two you look you know, you know why Wayne, Wayne, Wayne Rooney is you know why Shearer deserves a bit of credit though for what you're just saying yeah he, he, he went to Newcastle right yeah knowing you know and we're not relegated United. as a manager we're, as well well yeah but, uh, you, you, you said you like that. them just, <laughs> um, Christ. but like you're scoring like 
you hit 30 goals a season yeah. in three different seasons. No one else did that. Not even Henri. As great as Henri was, he, he, he how many times did Henri hit 30 Shearer's goals? I think he did it above, once, sorry. Shearer is not above. Thierry Henri hit, hit 30 goals in a season once. Alan Shearer did it three times. No, no, no. Let me, let me go. He right? spoke about being magical and we allowed it. If you're talking about magical, yeah, I'm bringing this guy's let number me two. Let me finish my point. Yes. Right? Shearer. Yes. He was not the biggest yeah, not the the quickest, N- not magical. And you know the difference is, is I actually think Alan Shearer had less physical. When we talk about Harlan's physical gifts, yeah. Shearer had less physical gifts. That he wasn't as quick as Rooney. Yeah, when, when he was young, we had their major injuries, um, and yet he had a way of mm. finding a way to score. And technically, and the one thing he never gets the credit for, he deserves his finishing. It, this is Henri was a great footballer, magical one on one with a keeper or, or or a penalty. I'm yeah. picking Shearer ahead of everyone on this list. Can you because the the the, the lack of even having to look at the goal when Alan Shearer was in that position yeah it was rare like it was, and this is something that's been forgotten about can you do you me think a you favor? get 260 goals for Blackburn and Newcastle can you do me a favour just a good English can you do me a favour at the beginning of this video can you write a disclaimer saying by the way Shearer's my friend <laughs> I speak to him on the phone <laughs> this <laughs> He has to do this clever because this is, I understand what's going on it's here. You have to say, I call him, I call him, he knows me, we speak all the time. When I when I come home, I do have a picture of Shira. <laughs> You're right in front of it, me. It so, true. so now, <laughs> so, now <laughs> so now, he can't be trusted. Yeah, this is yeah, not yeah, a viable you know, way to think about it. You've been sitting here fucking like fanboy and Rooney for the last 20 yeah. minutes. Like, you've got to do the same disclaimer. I'm, I'm, oh, the, the no, you go on the tours. You go on the tours. People often, people remember. Remember Alan Shearer for the way he finished his career in what was a decent Newcastle side, and he was very much the he wasn't looking like a skillful footballer. People don't remember the fact that when uh, when R nine Ronaldo was the man, yeah. who was chasing him down for the Ballon d'Or? It was Alan Shearer actually. Who went for the world record fee of fifty million pounds when Zinedine Zidane, R nine Ronaldo, all of them? When Alan Shearer came on the transfer market, mm-hmm. they said Juventus, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Man United, United, any of them, and he went to Newcastle. So yes, he might have hammered what he could achieve, but he is and he absolutely is top two. When we talk about Matt, I love what he did. He's number three, I believe. Shearer's number three. I like what he did. I'm willing to concede Thierry Henry is number one but right after that it's Mr it's the main man you see it's Mr Wayne Rooney and then it's Alan Shearer if you've seen Shearer at Blackburn your whole mind would change you'd be like Wayne Rooney was never Wayne Rooney Rooney was never ever in his career what Shearer was at Blackburn ever he was Wait, never what? that prolific. He was never. Shearer scored thirty goals three times in a in a row. Wayne Rooney never scored thirty goals so in then a put, season. Then put Shearer in the top of the tree. Just go all the way. But I can handle Henri because Henri actually as, does belong up there. And Henri yeah. was a striker. Mm. Henri no, was a striker. Has he done more, how, how many? Is he scored more? Has Shearer scored more goals in a in a in a season? Is he got more goals in a season? How Henri, yeah, yeah. But Henri's yeah. got a better goal to game ratio. So, yeah. so you can make the argument that if Henri was in the Premier League as long as Shearer was, because Shearer's on something like four hundred and something games, whereas Thierry Henri's only on three hundred and fifty eight games in the Premier League, you can make the argument that if he kept doing that, whereas Rooney did play loads more games in the Premier League, but he didn't score as and many goals second. because. He had to drop lamb. back into midfield and he had to move around. Lamb. Wayne Rooney had plenty of... By the way, Wayne Rooney signed for the biggest club in the country. In the world. He had all the time in the world to overtake Alan Shearer and he never did, mate. Yeah, he sacrificed. Shearer was a fucking Newcastle. He Shearer had two major injuries at Newcastle. Can't go to contributions, as Josh likes to say. <laughs> <laughs> do we even... Oh, do, right, right. <laughs> this is our relationship. Do we just, I think Rooney, Rooney is third. We, we've, we've all agreed. I've been avoided. Yeah. I'm happy to, to, to give up first as long as Shira isn't outside the top two. I've been outvoted. I can't speak on this. I, I, again, I've, I've, I've said how I truly feel. <laughs> I think number two is definitely Wayne Rooney. But again, okay. the comments will but be... But your number me. one is Henri. Right. It has to be. They, well, there you go. I was right. going to okay. try and get him Okay, so he's saying Henri one. You're yeah. saying Henri one. I'm all right with that. All right. I, I can agree to that. But okay. for me, legacy is Shira. Unbelievable. Okay. You disc- that, was, uh, that was another kick-off debate. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much, everyone. Appreciate it. Cheers. 